been clear the past couple nights here in um, Central Florida on the Atlantic side. Um, just looking forward to the Great Conjunction coming up. I know there's a lot of um, there's always a lot of speculation um, and just signs we see in the sky. This one it, it rare, but to me it's not too rare, being that it occurs on you know almost every 20 years. Um, in the grand scheme of things, that does not seem like a rare event to me. But, um, and there's some, it's arguably how long it's been since they're going to be as close in conjunction this time. I've heard mid-1200s, and I've heard just 400 years ago. It's so hard to wrap your mind around um, information nowadays. But yes, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being able to get this. This is the first time, this is, I'm still using the P900. And this is the first time I've been able to get Saturn um, this well. So, um, and actually I thought I was zooming in on Jupiter and I thought there was a distortion in the lens with the oval shape, but then as I sat back and just let it run, um, I'd realized, well, I, doggone, I caught it um, first time. So that's pretty cool. And again, not an amazing feat. I think it was back in the 1600s, the first time some dude did this, but, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, being able to get Jupiter and Saturn like this in the same shot. They're saying on that day I may be able to get one of the moons of Saturn to appear and um, at least the four um, Galilean moons of Jupiter. So yeah, I've got it set up. I just broke down and purchased a new um, swiveling ball head. It's a Benro three-way geared head for micro adjusting. When you're zoomed in, is far as you can on that p900 it's really tough to um you know make those little bitty adjustments and i've got all my setups really good right now except the ball head so i had to replace that and um so it's sitting on top of my star adventurer um 2i and tracking's good and i had it dialed right in on polaris pretty good last night so it is tracking this scene right here with Saturn is with the tracking system running is why it's staying you know center screen pretty much and um, it does have a little drift to it but you know we'll just chalk that up to maybe a little bit of human error but we'll see but yeah looking forward to um, getting this whole thing set up and um, it's, every night it's getting closer and closer to the horizon so it's getting to where I probably won't be able to set up in this yard and catch it. I'll probably got to drive somewhere um, and then we just got to hope on clear skies um, that night. We'll see what the cloud makers do to us and whether the natural main cloud maker or the the twisted um, corporate cloud makers. So anyway, hope you all have a good day.